Born into a world unjust, to a species with limited trust, those with the horns, power passed on to newborns, their will upon us was thrust. I wanted to be a clown, and lift every single frown, but those with the power shielded high in their tower, had me banished from my hometown. In exile, all I had was spite. It built up my personal might. If their crowns I'd break, and their power I'd take, I would need much clearer sight. I found it hid in the wood. A figure with a yellow hood. He called himself king, and to me he would bring power not yet understood. For this first time I melt to this figure that I felt would stay true to his word, for his words had spurred in me a trust that was not misdealt. And so from this yellow king a mask to me he would bring, made of some ancient bone, with it I dethrone all those horns who had left me to swing. Hindsight is clearer, they say, but true anger and rage has a way of binding one's soul and taking its toll had driven me to making that play. It drew everyone mad, if sat through it they had. The entire second act, and without much tact, the Yellow King to his numbers would add. An agent of madness I was, to me a righteous cause. I didn't care for them, I wouldn't even hack up phlegm as they gave their maddened applause. Underestimated them though I did, for some had been smart and hid. They sprung a great trap, gave my body a great nap, and sent my splintered soul to bid. For eons my mind fractured, personalities now manufactured. I was no longer myself, just a shell on a shelf, a trophy of the horn's great capture. Time, although, has its way of ticking on day by day. My tale was forgot, and generations cared not to remember or keep victories on display. The Yellow King remained an investor. He saw opportunity in my great sequester. He bided his time, planned the great crime, of releasing foolery, the jester.